Hey guys, it's Miss Southern Bell with hashtag Mondays Mandela. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's one of those days. I actually have been up since four. I, I had a flip flop weekend. It's hashtag Mandela Mondays 2024. Pretty much what it says. Hosted by at McBean's Color with me. And the author of this book is Dawn. And I bought it off of Amazon. So you guys go check out getting this book. It'll support her. That's what we're all about is supporting each other. So this book is in Amazon, you know. So please go buy it. It'll help her out. And the, and the pictures are real simple. I've done quite a few of them. Sometimes I use this site. Sometimes I don't. I need to get with the program, huh? But I have been doing a lot of different things. I'm sure everybody understands. So I've done quite a few Mandela's. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to work on a new one. Some of them I did good, some of them I did bad, and some of them I make you sad. <laughs> so this time I'm going to do a video one so you can guys see some of the book. I have already done a, you know, showing, I'm going to do the whole book. I'm going to, do, this is going to be my, this is my next one. And I have a lot of different colors. I have all kinds of pencils. I have the pencils with all the different colors. I don't know if y'all have ever seen these kind of pencils. And they just have, you can just do it. But I'm not going to do that. And then I have, wait up. I have these right here. And I have these right here. Which they have all the interesting colors as well. And they're all over the place. See, I'm... Um, don't put them back to where they belong. I'm a bad, bad girl. Oh, and then I have a hot mess doing that. So, so there's a lot of different colors in here, and they're fun to do. But this time, I'm going to be serious. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm just going to go with it. So, a lot of people tell me they like that lime green. I have a friend named Life with Ron likes lime green. So I'm gonna do lime green right here. I hope you guys are having a great Monday. I've already done my trash. I actually did pretty good today. I've, I actually did vitamins this morning and coffee. Huh? So, you know, I'm gonna do the lime green. I have a lot of good friends on YouTube that are just a lot of coloring people who like to color. And then I have some friends who like to diamond paint. And then I have friends that like to do both. I like to do both. I get a lot of ideas out of doing the diamond painting. The color, the color uh, choices, choosing, it helps your, you know, I don't know. I just like doing it. <laughs> I like coloring. I like diamond painting. I like shopping too, but I'm kind of, just do it on Amazon. And I know sometimes you can go to those other places and get probably a better deal on your diamond painting, but I'll let y'all see it that way. So, what you, so um, I haven't done it yet. I'm doing one for everybody. It seems like I did the dog diamond painting. That was really a simple canvas. I was very happy about that. And then I did a lot of different keychains. I've treated those, but I wouldn't recommend doing a treatment when you've got family members around because they can get on your last kitty cat nerve or your little puppy dog nerve or your parrot nerve or your goldfish nerve, whatever nerve you got going on right then. I watched um, Dan. He's the He has fish. He does a lot of fishes. Now, I watched him do his fishes. i tell you what. If I ever die, I'm coming back as a fish because I know Dan would take care of me. Because that man, he takes care of them fishes. If you ever want to learn about goldfish or any type of fish, Dan's your man. That's for sure. So, let's see what colors. You know, in the middle, I think I'm going to make it orange. It's just a little different and kind of spark out a little fire look. I think orange is really... A pretty color. Do you guys like orange? Aren't you glad I'm coloring some orange in here? <laughs> that would be one of my brother's jokes. You know, my sister's boyfriend was here all weekend. I guess they're getting back together. Who knows? 
You never know with people, you know? If they're going to stay away or are they coming back? I mean, why does he have to come around my birthday? No, I'm just kidding. I guess I can, you know, handle it. I was used to him, and then she, you know, got rid of him, and then now he's back, and now, I don't, now I'm not used to him anymore. She could have waited till the fall, because I have to put on a robe when I get up in the morning. Okay. I try to stay out of people's way, you know. <laughs> you know, when you lift some people, you have to stay out of their way, you know. Okay, you see these little white specks? I don't know, should I color them? I don't know. Let's let's try something a little bit more different, a little bit more sparkly. Let's try this blue. I don't know. I don't know, it looks good white. What do y'all think? I don't know, cause you know I'm gonna go out of them lines. Look how, here, let me sharpen this. <laughs> let's go in, see, let me put the light on the subject. <laughs> Man, ooh, these are little tiny things. Yeah, yeah. I, I guess you could keep them white, but I'm gonna go ahead and color them blue. I've seen people color the black part of this thing. I'm gonna do it and see what how I can, you know, stay in the lines. Are you kidding me? I never do. Stay in the lines, stay in the lines. It was like a, oh, when you're driving, I do do that one. <laughs> oh, yeah. And you know, I have a car that tells me when I'm going out of the lines, too. Dee, 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 dee. I said, okay. I know I'm out of the line. Boy, it lets you know, too. Dee, 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 dee. Does your car do that? And when you're backing up, sometimes there's nothing back there and it goes off and my sister gets so mad when there's nothing back there. I said, it's a ghost. <laughs> she says, I don't care. I don't care. I don't like it doing that. It blows me away. So I'm going to do this color. This is kind of a fuchsia. That's kind of like a pinkish purple white color, you know. I love it. I mean... This is so relaxing. I hope you guys are getting relaxed by watching me. And sometimes you ever notice there's like the little spots there. Well, my teacher, she probably likes, where is she? She's not been in class for a while. Sorry. I actually I watch her. I just don't say anything sometimes. I'll be lurking because I don't want, and I know that sounds, sometimes you just don't want to talk in the chat. You just want to lurk, you know, when people are alive. No, no, no. I just want to listen. That's what I tell people. I'm just listening. Yeah. And then if you go in there, you have to say when you leave and when you come back. And sometimes I forget to do that. And I don't want nobody getting mad at me. And this one's just like a blue, but this is not the same pencil. I'm using all kinds of pencils. Now, this one is uh, that, you know, the one that starts with a K. Anyway, so on. <laughs> and this one is made in Germany. It's stampered, super soft. So I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to make it right here. I use a lot of different pencils. I still got pencils and containers, too. I haven't even pulled them out. I'm thinking about doing that, but I don't know. It's just a thought. I've been diamond painting, too, so I don't know, you know, what I'm going to do. So now we're going to go with this one. And this one's a different color. This one's, this is a different brand. This is called American Crafts. And these are all different brands. So you can get an idea about what they look like when they're being on a paper. I haven't been doing many hashtags like I usually do. I just do some and some. I, I can't make it. I just can't make it. I'm sorry. But it is what it is, you know. I do the best I can. I watch as many as I can. You know. It's a busy life out there. And there's so many things I want to do. And I don't know if I got time to do them. I'll 
got a lot going on. And this one right here is called Heather Green, and I think it's that um, that pencil that starts with a cat. Kalua. And everybody likes green, don't they? Some girl was talking about green on her um, on her channel. Actually, I watched that video all the way through. Everybody wants to put like those little pounds about watching the video. I forget to do that, but I do watch it all the way through. So, what has your weather been like where you are? This is Egyptian blue. I gotta sharpen that one because I might have to have a point to it. And if y'all been having really hot weather, ah. It's been so muggy and hot here. Oh, I've been lucky though. I've got air conditioning. I thank God for air conditioning. Whoever invented that was making did good, but back in the day, we didn't have air conditioning, but the, it seems like the sun's closer to the earth. You ever feel like the sun's closer to the earth? Now, I'm not no scientific person, but to me, it seems like the sun is closer to the earth. You know? Now, this is, this color right here is called, it's got a pretty, I think I got it because of salmon, and I'll tell you why I like this color. <laughs> This color, can, you can use a skin, like, you know, for people, like portraits. I use this color, this one a lot for portraits. This is a nice color, and then add a little bit of flesh. You know, whatever color you want. You know, if you want to be African-American, you can add the flesh in there. I love this color. It's not a pink, it's salmon. You know, salmon looks like that. I had salmon yesterday. It was really tasty. So, and then here's the lime green. You know it looked good right beside that. I don't, I don't know if this is lime green. Like, it looks like lime green. It don't really say, but you know it's got to be. It just looks like it is. Well, I'm glad I got some projects done. I'll tell you what, doing these colorings and diamond painting... Now, I'm not doing diamond paint with just anybody. I'm doing it with just, you know, I just watch a lot of people, and I just like doing it. I mean, I really love diamond painting. Now, this one right here is another salmon color, but it's done by American Craft. You see that one? And this is supposed to be just like that. So let's see how close it is. Now, this one's American Craft. See how different the colors come out? And I don't know if it is salmon, but it looks like salmon, doesn't it? This one's fresh water. This one's, you know, got all the chemicals in it. <laughs> Just being funny. <laughs> and this one right here is American Craft Crafts, too. These are all bought on Amazon. I don't know what color this is, but it's showing that color right there. This looks like uh, split pea soup cup green. So I'm going to make it over here. I sharpened it, I think, a little bit too sharp, but you got to be careful when you do that, guys, because they will break. It's crazy, but true. Gosh. Now, see, if I want to, I can, on this side, I can put what I used and all the different pencils but y'all, I'm doing a video. I'm not doing that. I'm just kidding. This one right here is um, Ella Shop Permanent Color. Now, these don't tell you the color. So what I do is sometimes I'll just go over here on this paper and do that. And so it looks like it's a navy blue. So it don't have the color. It just call, It's called A-L-A-N-S-H-O-N. But it don't have the color. But... I penciled it over here, so it's a navy blue. And I sharpened it again too sharp. They tell you not to do that, but you know. I'm a naughty colorist. <laughs> and 
you know what was funny is I couldn't figure out how to, if you, you know, I forget things real easy lately, so, you know, sometimes I've been forgetting, like, you know, but I think I had my mind over, overstocked, you know how you think so much about so many things, and you worry about things, and I, I just, you know, I had way too much going on in my brain, you know, and just had to find me a solution, so, oh, I feel so good to find solutions, so, I have a couple friends that found one. We we found a solution. So that one right there is not, it's this brown. So that was that navy blue one. Some of them don't have the color on them. Some of them tell you the color. That's what I'm trying to show you is different. Now this one right here is called skin tone color. And I'm going to put it on here so you can see what it looks like. It's kind of a yellowish gold looking. So I'm going to put it right here beside that. That's the skin tone color. Just came in a pack of skin tone. It's kind of pretty to me because, you know, I just like the colors. And that's that one. We're just going to do colors. And here's another skin tone. Pencil. I'm always getting notifications. So here's another skin tone. I think this is just a pretty color. Do you do you see this skin tone out and about? This comes in, it's just called skin tones pencils. And it goes on pretty smooth. Now I'm gonna tell you the truth. When you're coloring, you're really supposed to take your pencil and go around and around. That's what the teacher tells you to do. And then she said, turn your pencils. All kinds of stuff. And uh, I go to Eileen Vick's Grayscale Coloring at night. She's on every night, every day of the week if you ever want to go learn Grayscale. And if you there and you, you want to ask her a question, she'll be glad to take care of that question. Now, I'm just popping these out. I don't know what they are. <laughs> you know me, I like to just live on the edge. This one, I have no idea. I can't hardly see it. It says it's also an enterprising color top something. I assume this is skin tone too, so we're going to put it right near this one beside it. And just go and see what different colors are out there. These are on the skin tone. You know, some of them you really have to push. And some of them come out really smooth and cool, you know. So, and then I'm just going through everything on here. I like this color. This is one of my favorite colors. And this is a, I have no idea what color it is, but it's by Master. It looks gray, doesn't it? I have no idea what it's going to turn out to be. Sometimes it's kind of, it looks like a grayish blue but I do like this color. Now, you may, you may not can see it, but it is a grayish blue. You see it? Can you see that grayish blue? Right here. This one right here. I'm gonna kinda make it. I know you can't see it because it's so light, but that's what it looks like. So you can get an idea what these pencils look like when they're on paper too, like white. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like on the black. You're going to, don't get upset with me. I'm going to kind of like, just go like this a little bit. I don't do nothing, does it? No. Nope. So this one, it, that's what it looks like. That's this color right here, guys. So you can get an idea, you know, you, you say, I wonder what that color looks like. And you don't have to worry about it. I've done showed you. Okay. This one right here is also a skin tone. Cinnamon. This is one of my favorite colors, believe it or not. Cinnamon. Yeah. But this is the skin tone cinnamon. Remember, this is the grayish blue one right here. This is cinnamon. And this is the skin tone. It's like a reddish brown color. A lot of people like the cinnamon. Yeah. You can use this like in pictures with their roost and stuff. This is like a be good for a roof, a little bit of a cinnamon. What would you use the cinnamon color for? Don't try to eat it now. <laughs> Just kidding. And let's see. 
you're probably thinking, why are you putting those colors? I'm just letting you see colors too. This is called Dark Uber. Now, I never really cared for this color. I don't know why, but I'll let you see it and you tell me what you think about it. I just, I don't know why I don't like this color. I'm being mean to it, ain't I? I'm not giving it a chance to come out of its dark uber. But, I, I mean, how many of you use this color? I never see too many people using dark uber. It's one of those colors that nobody likes. We're sorry. We don't like your dark uber. You know. <laughs> but it's not a bad-looking color if you kind of look at it, you know, a little bit better. You know, look at it with a good point of view. Give it a chance. And, guys, start using this color so we'll know what to use it for. It's been misunderstood, I think. It's a misunderstood color. But this is dark uber. That's a pretty cool color. Now, let's see. Now, this one right here is called Magnet, Mag, M A G E N T A. And it's kind of like a pink. It's kind of like that fuchsia's going on. So, I'm going to make it right here. Looks good next to that dark uber, doesn't it? Sure does. It's kind of like a pink, but not really, really pink. It's kind of like a fuchsia, light fuchsia pink, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Let's see. I like this color. This is one of my favorite colors. I use this a lot when I'm coloring, but I don't tell y'all what I'm using. This one's kind of like a burnt orange look. Let's check it out. Now, this is a kind of a pretty color, but you really have to push on it a little bit harder than most colored pencils. But, man, it is pretty. It's not a dark color. It's a skin tone, I think, too. And it's a master. The pencil's by master. I hope you guys are liking me telling where these pencils are. I hope it helps you. And that's a master. Okay. All right, let's look for one that everybody knows about. This color is red, and it's a um, color. And this is the red color. This one needs to be a little bit darker. Yeah, sometimes you have to re-go over them, and that's called layering. When you have to go back over the pen, the colors with different colors, you can layer your colors. So let's try doing something like that. Let's find colors we can layer. Now this color right here is a Soft Touch Castle Arts. Now you see how mixed up my pencils are? Now I'm going to this is the yellow, and I'm going to go right here with this. This is, look how pretty yellow that is. Mm-hmm. That's a pretty, pretty yellow. And this is Castle Art Pencil. So, wow, Castle Art's got a pretty big yellow. And then, see, I'm going to take this yellow. Oh, let's see what we can go over. I love that orange, though. Should I? Let's try it. Let's try this. Nah, the orange is always good over the yellow. Let's try layering it with the orange. And this orange is a different name brand. Okay, we're going to just kind of go down around it. This is layering. You'll say, oh, I don't like you doing that, Miss Southern Belle. I know you're probably thinking, hmm, I don't want that up above there. But see, this is what it'll look like if you go on top of the color. It looks like fire, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Looks like fire. Okay. And you can do that when you got that. I know that made you sad, so I'm going to put some more yellow over here. I don't want y'all being sad. <laughs> and then that's that one, that beautiful yellow. That's some more fire. 
what would be really pretty is the red on top of it. Let's see if we can put another color on top of that color. Now you're probably saying, now you're getting crazy, Miss Southern Belle. But you know, if you don't play with your colors, you don't know what to do. Okay, here's that red. This, this, you know, you know, if my teacher's watching, she's gonna say, you know better than that. <laughs> I do. I don't think you should layer on where it three times, but I'm gonna do it anyway. We're gonna go over it with some red. So. And so that's what it looks like. So we got yellow, orange, and red on top of this one. What do you think of that? Okay, now that we fooled around with that one, let's go in there with the red. Let's do a long red one. I hope you guys are having fun with me. Have you ever blended all your colors just, to, just for your own fun? Sometimes I like to watch the teacher blend them. Okay, here's the red one. Now we're going to get really weird. We're going to take this one and put it on top of it. This light sky blue. Let's see what happens when we do that. It's kind of wild looking in it. It's not doing too much to it. Let's go a little bit deeper. Let's put this American purple. And you remember these are all different flat textures of pencils too. I don't think this one's going to touch it. It's kind of like, you know, not that going to touch it. But it's pretty though. It's kind of a muggy red, isn't it? All right, enough of that crazy stuff. Now here's another one of my favorite colors. Now this one right here is also, I think it's, a, let's see, I can't see this one, but it's just my one of my colors I like a lot. It's a light color, so what I'm going to do is go over this light color over here, so. Because that gray just didn't do nothing. Oh, that looks really cool, doesn't it? It's, trying, it's coming around, guys. <clears throat> like a Mandela Monday. Okay, we got all this to do. <clears throat> oh, Lord. You you probably saying to yourself, Miss Southern Bell, chop, chop. I got to go. You can put me on two, two speed if you're impatient. Now, this color is a, uh, a yellow-green. It even says it on here, and this is one of the color pencils. So I'm gonna put that right here beside all this wild stuff. All right, let's get crazy now, guys. We can't be always being perfect with things. This one right here, it looks black, okay, see? And this is called W-E-B-O colored pencil. I have no idea when I got this. This might just be a regular pencil. No, it looks like a regular writing pencil, doesn't it? But it's a color pencil, so let's see what it looks like. It, to me, it looks black, but it comes out gray. And it's kind of a dry, you know? It's a dry look, so it's not like a really moist. You know how some of them are moist looking? It's, it's got that dry look coming up. So, it's kind of pretty, though. It's kind of putting it out there, you know? It's a pretty color. It looks, you know, when you keep putting it in there like that, it looks kind of like a, a brush, like you've got a velvet boot, you know, like a gray velvet boot, and then you're brushing it with your br velvet brush. That's what it reminds me of. What's it remind you of? Oh, we've done enough sky blues. Let's see. Let's try some weird colors. Because, you know, this is Fiber Castle. Now, this is kind of like a, a tan color. Right here. See it right here? 
I want to do this little one right here. Now, this is like a taupe or a tan color. It looks gold once you start putting it on. Doesn't it look gold to y'all? It's called 786 Fiber, Fiber Castle. You know that. I don't even know why it's in mixed in. All of them are mixed up. <laughs> I'm a mixed up colorist. <laughs> Here's a color that would be next to it. Now this one's a mint green and it's color. I think that one's a pretty color. Kind of want, I'd love to have some chocolate mint cookies today. Mm, I could go for some. You guys like chocolate mint? I don't know why I'm doing this mint. It's making me want some chocolate mint cookies. I like chocolate mint ice cream too. Y'all like ice cream with mint in it? I don't need no ice cream. <laughs> KK sent me all that candy and I sat there and ate all that caramel cinnamon. I said, KK, I ate the whole bag and it was so good. <laughs> Not good for my health, probably, but it was good at the time. This is a skin tone. I want to sharpen it, though. And it looks brown. And it's uh, A-I, A-I-A-N, Shan. Let's see if you can see it. And that's the next one I'm going to use next to that mint green. So it looks brown, but it's not brown. How about that? It's sort of a reddish tone to it. This must be Cherokee Indian skin tone. What do you think? Have you ever seen a skin tone that color? I turn that way when I'm mad, huh? <laughs> I'm just being funny. Uh, here's another one. It's called American Color. No, it's not American Color. I mean, my eyes need to adjust. It looks like it's going to be a dark brown, but I have no idea. I can't see it that good. Let's see if you can see it. It's called a micro, micro color. So I want to sharpen it up. Sometimes they... I, it, it makes it fresher. I don't know. Maybe I'm just paranoid. Okay, let's see what this color looks like. This looks kind of like a copper, you know? To me in person, you know, the way it lays on the color. You know, it looks like it's kind of like that one right there, to be honest with you. You could match. Yeah, it looks... It's, it's a pretty color, though. It's uh, It would be good for, like, doing trees and stuff. It goes on smooth, guys. It's like, you know, like you, you got a pair of suede boots, the way I feel about it. You know, it rides on smooth. You know, I know you think, wow, this is a strange Mandela. <laughs> it could be the strange Mandela Monday for me. And this one right here is another color. It's a, I don't know if this is skin. I have no idea what these colors are going to be when they come out. So it looks dark brown, right? And I'm going to sharpen a little bit because I don't know if it helps them from being so dried out feeling. So I'm going to go right beside the other one. And this one is a little bit darker. Mm -hmm. This one looks like a little bit of the Uber to me. The Uber color. So this one's kind of different. You know, sometimes, you know, if you're doing these uh, Mandela's, you could do a video and tell us what colors, each color, show us what you're using, and maybe we can kind of find them. And this is, I think these are all skin tone browns and, you know, just all skin tones, this company is. So. And for a while there, I'm, I'm having a problem if they do these browns smoother and this one's kind of makes, you know, see how it's, I want to sharpen it. I think sharpen it does something to them. You know, it might bring out, get rid of the old film at the top. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just jibber jabbering. What do I know? 
but that's a pretty color in it. Yeah, that's kind of pretty. What do y'all think? That's a pretty color. It's going to be fall soon, so you're going to be looking for these colors. Now, this one's called papaya. No, I'm allergic to that fruit, but I don't think I'm allergic to the color. So, let's put papaya near that brown. Oh, that's some pretty color right there. And it kind of reminds me something in the ocean, papaya. It's like that fruit, papaya. You know, papaya is... No, I'm not allergic to papaya. I'm allergic to mangoes. Papaya is good for keeping you from having gas. Did you know that? Oh, no, too much information. This is a green one, and this one's called dark green let's see here dark green of course we're gonna have to have a little green in here we've had all the browns You guys don't forget to try to order one of these books. They're not that hard to do. And you could share us your coloring experience. I mean, that's what it's all about, is teaching us. Now, here's another skin tone, okay? And this one's sort of another brown, so I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it beside that dark green. Looks like a tree is growing right there, doesn't it? You guys going to put any tree? Well... It's fall, it's time to put out trees and certain flowers you put out during the fall. This is a pretty brown. It's a light brown, you know. So, it's like I'm just going through all this one container showing all these colors. Let's see. Now, this one right here is called... Color pencil. Now this one looks like it's black. It doesn't have a name on there. It has a number 024. Let's see what color it is. I'm gonna just kind of knock off the film of it. I always do that anyway. So yeah, this is black. We've talked about finding the best black. I think this is a nicer, smoother black. But you know. You see how it does when you put it on white paper? See how it looks, right? Now, truth be known, I would add this color to it just a little bit. And then I would add just a little bit of this color. Because I don't know, some of these blacks don't look like, you know, what I mean. And, you know, I have, I do buy dolls, African-American dolls. And, and it, you really, I'm going to tell you, some people just don't get them. It's just not a slap black. But this black, I think this black is a smoother black. I like it. And this is a good one. It smoothly goes on. Okay. Now we're going to try this color. This is called Earth Tone. I really like this color. You wouldn't believe how pretty this color is going to turn out being. It's called Earth Tone. This is a nice color. I use it a lot on some of my pictures. Now we're going to have to get away from all that and come some white colors, huh? 
so it won't be like that. Uh, but uh, we're just doing this one right here is called vintage purple. This one would be really cool. pretty near the earth tone. This is called vintage purple. I didn't know there was a vintage purple. Have you ever heard of such a purple? Yeah. Vintage purple. What are you guys up to today? Diamond painting, coloring. I hope you guys are coloring with me or diamond painting or something. If you're diamond painting, what you diamond painting? Tell me, tell me, tell me. I figured out how to prepare my diamond painting. It was on short. And you can use wax paper and everything. I watched a short. I am so glad. Finally, and it's like I'm going all over the world for certain things. It's kind of, you know, you ask some people, and I know they're busy, so I'm not going to pressure them. This one right here is called Eggplant, and this is a color. This is Eggplant. That's the name of this color. Ooh, that sure is pretty, and it puts out nice, nice and smooth. Look at that. Look at that pretty color. Y'all see it? And this is called Eggplant. I like it to get really dark in there. This is eggplant. I guess we're going to call this video going through a bucket full of colors doing a mantel. <laughs> this one right here is called creamsicle. Oh, I love, I want a creamsicle. I might go get me one today. Now that seeing this color makes me want one. It's kind of a cross between orange and vanilla. So, wouldn't you like to have some creamsicle? You remember that creamsicle? When you go buy those little popsicles and they're they're kind of like on the outside, it's orange. It's kind of like a sherbet. There ain't no cholesterol in sherbet, is there? I know there's a lot of sugar, but I don't think there's cholesterol on sherbet. Check the box and let me know. You got sherbet in your ice box. See if it's cholesterol in there. I don't think there is. There's a lot of cholesterol in ice cream. I've got to be careful, too. I, I bet my cholesterol is dancing all over the place. That's pretty right there. That's pretty. That'd make a good hair color, too. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't know. My, this would be a good skin color, too. That's just my opinion. You can drop yours down in the chat. And this next color is called... It don't have a name. Okay, here's what we're going to say. This color looks kind of like a purplish blue, but it don't have a name, and it's by A-I-A-N Shan Permanent Color. So I'm going to put it right there. And it looks blue. See? To me, it looks blue. Now, to you, it might look purple. Now, let's see what it's going to look like on the paper. Looks like a navy blue right there. Yeah. That's what it looks like right there. See how blue it looks? It's not it's not a purple, it's like a it's like a blue, like kind of a royal blue kind. Like you know those royal blue outfits you wore out on the beach, or you know, like when you're going to the club, you know, you want to look all ready for the boat and everything. A lot of people wear this color. It's called Royal Blue. Well, here's one of my mixed up pencils. And they call this, um, let's see, it's called Suther, Suther, Summer Blue, Summer Sky. So let me sharpen that one really good. And this has got many colors in it. So I'm going to use this one right beside that royal blue. And this is a mixture. So when I'm using this, I'm going to try to turn the pencil so we can get the whole effect. So 
and it kind of goes on smooth. And this is called Summer Sky. That's a pretty, pretty summer sky right there. Oh, we're all ready for the fall sky now. Let's see if I can find something different. This one right here, ooh, that's a blue situation here. This is blue looking, but it's a different kind of blue. Let's try to see what this will look like. I don't know what color. This looks kind of like a sky blue. This sure is pretty. Now, this one's also by AIAN Shan Permanent Color. This color's come on pretty smooth. Mm hmm. I bet y'all saying, dang, that's one rainbow color. <laughs> Let me see if I can find a different color. Now, this one right here is called Apricot. Mm, I could go for some today. I love me some apricots. I love it. You know, I never knew I'd like them so much until I tried them. Look at that. That's an apricot color. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty little color right there. It's kind of a cross between an orange and a yellow, if you ask me. You know apricots are good for your eyes? Google it. I'll tell you what, you'd be surprised. Now, don't be poking this in your eye now. I'm not talking about the pencil, I'm talking about the fruit, apricot. That's a pretty color right there, apricot color. Let's see what other colors are down in this bucket. I'm calling it my white bucket. You know, see, it's my white bucket. So, let's see. Let's see. Let's try this color. This is one of them skin tone looking colors. It's got some glue or something on it. Okay, let me sharpen a little bit. I just wanted y'all to see all the colors that are out there. Oh, this ain't brown. This is like that other one. It's a sort of a mauve looking color. That's pretty near apricot. You wouldn't think it would be. See, you could wear apricot and that wine color dress together. Get you an apricot dress and put a the uh, wine color. It looks like a wine color, doesn't it? Hmm, I could go for some apricot wine. Ah, oh, stop it. Y'all silly. <laughs> ah. Now, this one was pushed way down in here. This one must be one of my favorites because look how short it is. And this one's called um, O-C-H-R-I-N. It's a color. So, let's see what this one looks like. Oh, oh yeah. That was a nice one. Look at that. How, ooh, doggy. That was a beauty. And that's why I use it so much. That's kind of like good for being a hair color. That's beautiful. That looks like cinnamon too, but it's a reddish, reddish brown, light reddish brown. How pretty is that? Ooh. That's very, very pretty. I wouldn't mind having a pair of boots like that. I don't wear boots, but that would be a pretty pair of shoes, wouldn't it? Our jacket, you know, a leather jacket that color. Mm hmm. Okay. Let me see what's down at the scratchy bottom, you know, looking for something different. Well, here's that. Here's a gray. Let's see what gray would. This is one that's a gray color, and it's pretty short. <clears throat> Sorry, it keeps coming closer and closer to me. And this is gray. And this one has like a, sort of like a, um, a sort of a puke. It, it's gray, but some of them have a green tint. I think this one's got a green tint to it. Does it look that way to you? See? Okay. And this one right here is a, just a regular old orange. Nothing. It's a Kluwer orange. Gosh, I love orange. I mean, orange is orange is a really cool looking color. You see, it's different from this orange over here, but we layered that orange. 
So that's why it's different looking. Two more colors, guys. I bet you're saying, hey. All right, let's see what we're going to get. Let's get a hold of this one right here. This one's called C-A-R-M-I-N-E. Camilla, Camarla or something. I have no idea, but it looks like it's kind of a red, red berry looking. Eh, that's what it looks like. This one's got more of a pink color to it. So... I appreciate you guys if you if you stayed all the way to the end. I mean, I like to know the colors. I'm gonna pull this one color out. This one right here, a lot we've been doing the black. I'm gonna make this one black. This is black color, okay? A black color. I'm not gonna put anything on top of it either. So, you guys can get an eye. Dude, you do have to, ooh, it's so pretty. Black colors are not bad looking. So. Sometimes you can put something underneath it to look better, you know, because black, you know, when you go over it with some other color, it's better off. Maybe some pink or some greenish blue or something like that. Wow, that really works. It. There's your black color. So we've tried two different blacks on here too. Well, that's it, guys. That's the end of this video. Um, 30 unique Mandelas. And make sure you check out the author, Dawn Moore. Dawn Moore. So make sure you check her out and get this book. This is a really simple book. You can choose if you want to put this stuff over on the side. You can write down when you did it. So here's what we did. We tried out a lot of different colors out of my white bucket. We did pretty good, and I appreciate you staying to the end. And this is Miss Southern Belle. Don't forget to keep your faith as a must seed, and go out there and color something beautiful, and have a great Monday. Bye.